where we get together on an annual basis in order to celebrate the accomplishments, the achievements of our students, of our school, and of our community as well. Really appreciate everyone coming out this evening and spending time here today. And I'm gonna keep my remarks short as this event is wonderful, but really focused on the students. And can we just give a round of applause to our singer? <laughs> it takes a lot of courage and a lot of tenacity to uh, bless us here this evening. We're very grateful and thankful for that. As we process through this season, oftentimes we think upon so many wonderful opportunities to celebrate, to come together, and to be joyful with one another. And as we progress through what is the last couple of days of this academic semester, I'm so grateful and thankful for these young folks who are in front of us, who will be the future leaders of our tomorrow, who are dedicated to putting forth positive efforts of uplifting, developing, and being so great. Can we celebrate them with a round of applause, please? I just want to take a moment to acknowledge just a couple groups. One, to our parents who continue to collaborate and believe in our school, partnering with us to ensure that we educate, empower, and raise our youth to be those leaders that we want to be so celebrated in our future. To our faculty, staff, and board of directors who are here this evening who devote countless efforts into our children and our future leaders of tomorrow. I want to thank the Mount Eric Baptist Church staff as well as congregation for allowing us to have our celebration in this wonderful venue here. And also just want to give a special acknowledgement to Ms. Ronika Frank Gray. Who keeps us all in line throughout the evening and throughout the school year as well. So thank you all so much for coming. Really appreciate it. Without further ado, let's celebrate this Lessons of Carols this evening. Thanksgiving upon our hearts. Recognize, Lord God, that this is your day. We come, Father God, recognizing that soon coming day is a celebration of your son, who was born in the manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. And this evening, Lord God, we come to sing songs of adoration unto him. With that being in mind, we're thankful and we're praising your name. Whereas the Bible will tell us that we ought to make a joyful noise unto the Lord and serve him. Father God will be mindful. And we all praise our praise, honor, and glory as we say the prayer that you taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Give us our trespasses. And we forgive those who trespass against us. They us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now is the kingdom, power, and
Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was the house of lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his brethren, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them to, for them in the end. Thank you. 
2, verses 1 through 6. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and all Jerusalem with when he called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod, the Ma then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I, may, I too may go and worship him. After they heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and mirror. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route.
third, 10th, and 11th verse. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah. He is the Lord.
We celebrate Mama Kariyatu's Mama life, all of our ancestors, and everyone who's a part of this community with a song of praise and Lamban, a dance of celebration. And because this is African culture, we will invite everyone to join in too. We're gonna to dance together to Makuru. We invite you to come out, out of your seats um, after we've had a chance to sing to you. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Oh. 
Ms. Ronika earlier, and we were talking about how our libraries are leaving us. And as young people, we encourage you to seek out as much information as you can. Because when you are learning from someone and that person transitions on, you don't have that opportunity anymore. This is the legacy that Mama Kanyatu has left with us. Again, she was at the academy over at the other spot, um, you know, starting in 2007. And so there's countless amounts of kids that she inspired. Um, and we can only hope and dream to do just a fraction of that. You know, so whenever you see something, always be inquisitive about it, right? Um, you guys have had a really, really great semester. And uh, we're going to celebrate a little bit. Um, it, it, it don't mean I'm a follow the leader right here. And don't think that just because you're sitting down, dressed nicely in suits, <laughs> that y'all get out of it like that. Right? Um, so these brave souls that are up front, I'm going to turn it over to Sister Diana and Sister Ebony. We have Ibeji twins on the drums.
all God's children said. Amen. Amen.